Hi everyone, happy Friday, happy new year. Coming at you with 2020 Panini National Treasures Baseball four box pick your team number 31. Yes, we've done a lot of these. Big thanks to, there's the case right there, all of these lovely people for getting into the action. And thanks for spending a bit of your Friday night with us. We appreciate that. Joshua with that last spot mojo, Diamondbacks. There's a number block group right there too. Why are those, why are those letters cut off? Did I not expand the columns? Or and resize the columns properly. Come on, Joe. Sorry, trees. Here's the number block randomizer right here. Uploaded in a separate video, but these are the results. I guess I'll keep, I'll keep these right next to me right over here. There you go. That, that's a much better, uh, better angle here too. All right. Looks a lot better right there. There you go. And there is the fresh case. There it is. National Treasures Baseball. See all the box on the top screen right there. And away we go. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. We'll use this blank card to hide the hits a little bit from the top camera. We got 65 out of 99. Game Gear, Jason Dominguez. Nice start. Nancy with the Yankees. Nice. Six pieces of his jersey right there. That's pretty nice. We got a colossal relic, Logan Allen. 70 out of 99 for Cleveland. That'll be for Matthew Bodner. Anthony Rizzo, piece of his lumber, 31 out of 99. That'll be for Arthur King and the Cubs. Tony Gwynn, one out of 99, piece of his jersey. San Diego, that's gonna go to Arthur Hackett this time. Game worn too, nice. We've got Jordan Yamamoto, eight out of 99. Is, is 50 his jersey number maybe? Jersey and autograph going out to the fish, Sean K. Oh yeah, number 50, there you go. Then we've got Bobby Bradley, 80 out of 99, social signatures. There's his handle right there, B underscore Bradley underscore 44. We got 79 out of 99, Maurizio Dubon for the Giants. That'll be for Alifonso. A redemption. Ooh, nice. Game gear, triple materials, signatures, Luis Robert. White Sox is a number block team. Jeremy Port has number zero. Nice. All 
And a free top loader as well. And the book is going to be 6 out of 99. Wow, Lefty O'Duel. Legendary Materials booklet. O'Duel's for the 1929 campaign. That's crazy. Game worn material right here. Lefty O'Duel. Is that. What? 1929? Is that Phillies? Or is it the... No, it's the Philadelphia Phillies. He played for the Phillies from 1929 to 1930. There you go. Phil I thought that might have been an, a Philadelphia A's year, but the color... The slider box. The color indicates Philadelphia. Nice one for the Phillies. Ali Fonzo with that one. A piece of that old, old wool jersey in there as well. Love seeing that old school stuff right there. All right, next box. Now Dan was talking about, was talking a little Beatles. We, had, we were playing some Beatles before we started this recording. Even though John and Ra, uh, George, George had more raw talent, you're going with Paul as your favorite Beatle at the moment. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And after listening to all the Beatles albums millions of times, you came to the conclusion that you think that Let It Be is their best album with The Long and Winding Road as their best song? That could be debatable. I like, I like Let It Be, but I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Here's a fat box right here. Well, it just, it, for me, it changes every time. It could, be, it could be a different album depending on the season. Depending on the year. All right, no, I, I, don't, I think it's just the usual book. I think it's just, just fat hits. All right. Next box, we got Alex Kirilov, 73 out of 99, triple relic for the Twins, Sean K. Eight out of 10, A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez, Mariners edition. That'll be for Richard Miller. Jose Ramirez, 2 out of 10 for Cleveland. Matthew Bodner. Cleveland! This is for you! This is for you! Cleveland! This is actually for Matthew Bodner. But he has Cleveland! This is for you! <laughs> we got Orlando Cepeda, 86 out of 99 for uh, the Giants. That'll be for Alifonso. Next one, there's our first autograph from the box. It's uh, Jake Marisnik. 13 out of 25. He's a Met? I don't know, I think Jake Marisnik as a Met kind of went under, went under my radar. But that'll go to Joseph Falsetti. This is for you. This is for you. <laughs> Dual relic and autograph. 29 out of 50. Logan Webb. That'll go to the Giants. That's going to be for Alifonso. Matthew Bodner likes it. This is for you. Oh, look at that big letter right there. That's awesome. Maybe the S and the D, maybe, for San Diego? 22 out of 99. Adrian Morejon for San Diego. That goes to Arthur and the Friars.
We've got Tony Perez, 16 out of 50. Jersey and auto of this Hall of Famer going to Alifonso and the Red Legs. Oh, and the book. There's going to be, ooh, cut, cut signature. Bob Gibson, cut auto, 19 out of 25. That's awesome. There you go, RIP, Gibby. Nice one for, who's got the uh, Cardinals in this one? That'll be for, oh, that's a number block team. So St. Louis 9, Mike Rosinski. There you go, Mike. All right, next box. Oh, you, Patricia, or Steve Birch, actually, had all the Beatles albums and tossed them when you moved. Big mistake. Yeah, if they were the original ones, I think they're worth a lot now. I think some of the ones that are worth the most are, from what I remember, are the the U.S. album releases. Because back in this, back in the day, there were different album releases for for the U.S. and the U.K. editions. Now, the U.K. editions is what most of us know. What most of us know these days. But those early albums for the Beatles, there are some uh, U.S. editions that could go for a lot of money. Wow, if you had an original White Album one open, yeah. Who knew? Who knew that decades after its release, there'd be a vinyl revival? All right, next box, ladies and gents. We've got Brandon McKay. There you go, right side up. 65 out of 99. Uh, Rays 5 is going to be for Matt. So for number blocks, we go by that digit right there. And we've got a one of one, Rowdy, Rowdy Tellez. A majestic logo right there. For Ed Aarons and the Bluebirds. Happy New Year, Ed. There you go. Nice. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. No, I don't do I don't do song requests, Jack. This is not a radio program, I'm afraid. Jose Altuve, one of one. Piece of his lumber, right there it looks like. Piece of his bat. Going to Kevin and the Strohs. All right, so Kevin, all aboard. Woo -woo. We got five out of ten. Herb Pennock. For the Boston Red Sox, going to Joshua B. That's a good question. I wonder if if PSA would grade albums, sealed albums. Would they do that? Five out of ten on that dual relic. That'd be interesting. We have Jersey and Auto, your AL Rookie of the Year, 28 out of 49. Kyle Lewis, Richard Miller with the M's. And a dual auto, Edwin Rios and Matt Tice, 27 out of 99. That'll be a randomizer between Alifonso and the Dodgers and Richard and the Angels. One happy person, one sad person. Set that over here so I remember. There is... Um, Kwang Hyun Kim, 19 out of 49, three color patch and autograph for the Cardinals, who are a number block team. So that goes to Cardinals 9. 
That's another one for Mike. We've got Kettle Marte for the Diamondbacks. Three out of ten. Joshua B, last spot mojo, hit, strikes again. 60% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. And the book is going to be maybe White Sox, black and white. Whoa, legendary silhouette duels booklet, 8 out of 15. What, what, what legends do we have here? Oh, Thurman Munson and Bobby Mercer. Two old school Yankees right here going to Nancy. Yeah, look at those old, old jerseys right there. Thurman Munson has a great stash. He he gets on the probably gets on our uh, all stash team. All right, final box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. So, so Birch is saying that those sealed Beatles albums you gave them to your ex brother in law. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if he knows what he if if your ex brother in law knows what he has. You should you should maybe call him up and be like, hey, remember me? Remember those stupid Beatles albums that I gave you? Those, those dumb those dumb old things. You have them by chance? Take them back. They're just stupid old Beatles albums. Yeah, if you're not doing anything with them. It's clutter anyway. I'll just take them off your hands. And cross your mind. And just be like, just play it down. Just be like, it's... So you know those cluttery albums that you have in the in in a box in your basement? It's stupid. Just want it back for nostalgia. All right, last box. Good luck, ladies and gents. We've got Forrest Whitley, seventy-five out of ninety-nine Astros. Kevin M. We got Juan Soto, got a, kind of a black and white look here. That's pretty cool. 61 out of 99. That's a relic for Washington. It was a number block team, so Washington won. That'll be for Jeremy Port. Alex Gordon, 10 out of 25. Brendan E. with the Kansas City Royals. Game worn. Hall of Fame relic, Harold Baines, piece of his lumber. 47 out of 99. We got Danny Mendick. Jersey, or uh, yeah, jersey number in there, inscribed. 36. Sorry, it's 80, where did I get 36? 87 out of 99. I'm losing my mind here. White Sox is a number block team. So that goes to White Sox 7. And that'll be for Brian Crouch. There you go, Brian. There's Aristides Aquino, 49 out of 99, jersey and autograph. Alifonso with the red legs. Oh, look at that. 15 out of 99. It's a piece of the elephant's trunk wrapped around the bat. That's Sheldon Nusi. Rookie, patch, and autograph for Oakland. Alifonso with the Oakland A's. And a one of one. 
Wow, a one of one Eddie Murray. I feel like you you almost never see Eddie Murray autographs. Oh boy, Arthur King. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. Yesterday, King was being like, you know what? After NT, I'm retiring from group breaking. This is it. It's just not working out for me. Well, just like Michael Corleone in Godfather 3, pull, pulling you back in. Eddie Murray, dual relic, one of one. For Arthur King and the Baltimore Orioles. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And again, I, I feel like I almost never see Eddie Murray autographs. That's pretty nice. And the last one is a book. It's for the Padres. 85 out of 99. Adrian Morajon. You got a big piece of the jersey. It is on book autograph. And that's another Arthur, Arthur Hackett, with the Padres. And I'll find a, different, a slider box for this to put that in. And there you go, boys and girls. Pick your team 31 in the books, 2020. Panini National Treasures Baseball. Now i got to make one person happy and one person sad. There's Edwin Rios, Dodgers. Matt Tice, Angels. Let's roll it and randomize it. Three and a one four times. Team on top after four gets it. One. Two. Three. And four. After four stays with the Angels. Sorry, no Dodger Joe Mojo this time, Alefonso. But congrats to Richard with the Halos. You'll be getting this dual autograph. You know, if Justin Turner doesn't re-sign with the Dodgers... Which I hope he does, but that might mean Edwin Rios might get a little more playing time right there. So There you go. Pick your team 31 in the books. I don't know if we have any more NT, but keep your eye out for more on jazpyscasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.